Henning Oveni, Pretoria. Well, tomorrow, Finance Minister Enoch Godongwana will table his first medium-term budget policy statement. He has a tough balancing act on his hands, but at least the country's collected enough tax revenue this year. Annalisa Tuzwa has more on that story. New Finance Minister Enoch Godongwana has 99 problems on his list, but income generated from tax collecting is not one of them. The fiscal outlook is looking much better. The economy is starting to improve better than we thought. Um, and second of all, we've had a, a bumper um, mining tax revenue coming in, as well as revenue from agricultural products and sales there. But this isn't good news for Eva. Smolders says the revenue boom is not sustainable. This commodity boom um, you know, on the mining side is, is not going to always last, be there forever. And the problem that we see, uh, foresee is that a lot of this additional revenue that has come in has already gone to certain expenditure, social expenditures. Tax expert Alex Guala says for there to be a sustainable tax base, we need jobs created. Increasing employment making sure that people have got disposable income for them to fund their consumption is one of the ways to encourage them to spend so that you can collect those taxes. But Guala says we can't afford to increase taxes, though taxing wine and cigarettes a bit more wouldn't be a bad idea. The tax is like sin tax. That's a luxury tax that even if you increase it more, people will still con continue to consume those products. Both experts have also warned that the amount we spend on servicing our current debt is too high. It's estimated that for every five rand of tax collected, one rand of it goes to paying our debt instead of basic services. Annelisa Tuswa, Cape Town. Well, the drive to boost our healthcare workers' immunity before the fourth COVID-19.